can never say I, 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 I'm one of the guys who predicts or sees, but from what I do know is that the raving scene has definitely shifted. Because um, I've, I've been doing raves and I haven't stopped doing raves for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I can tell that I'd say about two years ago, the scene changed a bit where it was so hard to get people out to come in the night. And then the whole, you'd see a little brunch here and there. The festival season's gone wild. There's literally a festival on probably every weekend from April till September. So Tribal Life was coming off the back of a more soulful tribal house scene. So we, that's when we started it on a Sunday. And then as that was kind of starting, I think Funky came into the limelight or started, was born, I'd say six months to maybe nine months a year <clears throat> from, from that. I mean, it's, I can't even, I don't even know what was really the first ever Funky House tune. I think it's nice to create experiences. Um, I think where people pay a certain price to come into an event, um, they don't just expect, well, most people expect some kind of vibe because otherwise they just come in and it's just a room with a DJ and music. Mm. If, if, if they come in and they expect some kind of vibe or your party's got something where it's got that whole like, oh, we was lucky enough to get a ticket. So we should then reward them for being one of the people who was able to get a ticket. 